to all so today we will start placenta previa okay uh, topic of midwifery and obstetrical nursing okay so i hope everyone knows what placenta is right it is a structure which provides oxygen and nutrients to the baby and remove waste products from the baby's blood okay this structure and umbil umbilical cord also arises from placenta right so yeah let's understand this topic so let's first start with the meaning of placenta okay so you know first understand the meaning of previa so previa means pre let's divide this word into let's you know divide this word into two portion pre and via pre means before and via means way right via we use it often use it right so previa means before way so let's understand what is the meaning of placenta previa so placenta lie or situated before the fetus in the birth canal and in the way of birth canal is called placenta previa okay placenta lie or situated before the fetus fetus should be you know uh, situated before the placenta right fetus should be the first thing uh, you know first lie or situated first just just behind the birth canal fetus should be there not placenta so placenta should be behind fetus okay not before fetus so here the placenta lies situated before the fetus so in this condition this condition is called placenta previa again i'm saying placenta should be lie behind fetus not before fetus and in placenta previa placenta lie or situated before the fetus so this condition is called placenta previa i will show you the diagram it will make you clear now let's start the definition the placenta has implanted at the bottom of the uterus over the cervix or close by cervix this is called uh, placenta previa okay implanted at the bottom of the you know bottom means the basically the lower portion of the uterus or over the cervix or over the or close to the cervix this condition is called placenta previa and placenta previa uh, you know or you can write this definition also placenta previa is a complication of pregnancy okay it is a complication in which the placenta implants low in the uterus okay in the lower portion of the uterus covering the covering partially or the all of the portion of the completely the cervix okay it you know covers partially or completely uh, the cervix okay let's show you the diagram it will make you clear so this is a normal uh, condition okay in normal condition placenta should be in the upper position upper portion of the uterus and behind the baby behind the baby here let's see this is the uterus right this is the cervix or internal os this is the placenta see placenta is situated before the baby okay and in its way to the birth canal so this condition is called placenta previa this is covering the cervix right this is the cervix portion this covering the cervix cervix so when placenta is situated behind the baby and in the upper portion of the uterus this is normal condition when the baby situated behind you know situated before the baby or in the way of its birth canal and uh, you know just situated you know in the uh, over the cervix partially or completely uh, then it's called placenta previa i hope it's clear now i will tell you one thing which is antepartum hemorrhage okay i will tell you but i hope you know that antepartum hemorrhage is any amount of bleeding anti means before partum means delivery okay antepartum hemorrhage hemorrhage means bleeding so any amount of bleeding from genital track after 28 weeks of gestation to before delivery after 20 weeks the mother is you know pregnant for 28 weeks straight and after that the bleeding is occurring and after 28 weeks from delivery any time okay in any time before delivery basically you remember before delivery and after 28 weeks if the bleeding is occurring we call it antepartum hemorrhage and if antepartum hemorrhage has two major causes bleeding before delivery bleeding has two major causes which is placenta previa and abductor placenta so we are talking about placenta previa so placenta previa is one of the major causes of antepartum hemorrhage means before delivery bleeding okay i hope it's clear okay so let's you know understand the types now placenta previa types okay so placenta is mainly divided in four portion so mainly it is divided in four parts okay so let's see this 
लो लाइन प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया मार्जिनल प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया कंप्लीट प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया इनकम्प्लीट प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया एंड मार्जिनल प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू पोर्शन विच इज टाइप टू एंटेरियर प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया दिस इज टाइप टू राइट दिस इज फर्स्ट टाइप सेकेंड टाइप थर्ड टाइप फोर्थ टाइप सो टाइप टू एंटेरियर प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया टाइप टू पॉस्टेरियर प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया ओके सो लो लाइन मार्जिनल कंप्लीट इनकम्प्लीट ओके लेट सी द फर्स्ट टाइप ओके विच इज लो लाइन प्लेसेंटा प्रिविया ओके लो लाइन मीन्स लोअर पोर्शन ऑफ द प्लेसेंटा ओके लो लाइन मीन्स लोअर पोर्शन लोअर सेगमेंट लेट सी मेजर पार्ट ऑफ प्लेसेंटा इन अपर यूटराइन सेगमेंट एंड स्मॉल पार्ट इन लोअर यूटराइन सेगमेंट सी मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लेसेंटा इज is in uh, upper part of the segment and uh, you know small part small portion of the placenta is in uh, lower uh, uterine segment this is called low line placenta previa okay small part is in lower seg segment of the uterus and major part is in upper segment of the uterus small part in lower segment major part in upper segment so does not cover the internal loss this portion is the internal loss which is cervix so it does not cover the see it does not cover the internal loss right and normal delivery is possible here we can do normal delivery we can conduct it so i hope it's clear low line you know the small part of the placenta will cover the uh, will be will be in the lower uterine segment okay this is called low line placenta previa now let's see the marginal placenta previa marginal means you know a small portion will be covering the cervix let's see major part of the placenta is in lower uterine segment here the small portion is in lower uterine segment and major portion is upper uterine segment right but in major uh, placenta previa major portion is is in lower uterine segment and a small portion will be in upper uterine segment i will show you in the diagram this way edge of the placenta edge means the you know the ending part of the placenta extend within 2 cm of the internal os i will show you here this is the internal os c is just covering the 2 cm of the internal os full not fully cover na it is only two two portion means only the you know half portion partial portion so yeah now let's see the further you know divide division of marginal placenta previa type 2 anterior placenta previa anterior means what you understand front side front side we have symphysis pubis no on female pelvis we have studied symphysis pubis so in front side we have symphysis pubis here the implantation of placenta will occur towards the symphysis pubis i will show you in the diagram this is the front side this is the belly and this is the back you know the we, we have uh, you know just imagine this is a lady standing and this is the belly so here we have symphysis pubis right and here we have the sacrum here we have the spinal cord right so this is the front side of the baby see the placenta is in the front side right front side of the uh, symphysis pubis front side you know on on the towards the symphysis pubis this here we have symphysis pubis to towards the symphysis pubis and on the posterior placenta previa implantation will occur on the sacral promontory here we have sacrum this is the back side of mother here we have spinal cord okay here we have sacrum so on the sacrum side if the placenta is implanted then it will called posterior placenta previa okay this front side uh, anterior back side posterior i hope it's clear i will continue the rest of the topic on my next part of the video thank you